Hi guys, uh, welcome to, I'm going to call it a block spotlight, but it's not really, it's kind of a, a mod focus uh, video, it's, I'm basically going to build a logistics pipe network, or a sample network, just so you can see how I tend to set my stuff up. Um, how long this is going to run for, I'm not entirely sure. I will go through as quickly as possible while still showing you everything that I'm doing. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, we will uh, we will get through it. Now, what I'm basically going to build, as I said, automatic sorting with automatic smelting and uh, macerating as well, and maybe I'll include a little bit of crafting in there as well we'll see just kind of just to show you the basics of what you're going to end up doing um, as part of your system now let's make a bit of space here so if I start here this will be our sorting chest now to go with the sorting chest uh, we're going to want a chassis now I tend to start off with a mark 2 chassis but end up with a mark 3 so we'll put mark 3 chassis on there and the modules that we're going to want in there um, actually, do I need a Mark III? Actually, it's not a Mark III on that one, it's a Mark II. It is a Mark II. So we'll put a Mark II chassis on there, and the modules we want, we are going to want a quick sort module and an extractor module Mark II. Now, basically, what that's going to do for us is um, this extractor can be set to default, that's fine, it's just on a chest and quicksort doesn't have a config basically what that's going to do is going to take everything out of this chest and put it into the network no matter what it's that's what that's going to do so now if i grab some pipe just to give us a little bit of a a little bit of a, a line down we'll come over here and throw on some Mark two chassis here. Um, with some chests on top, and we're also going to want a Mark three chassis on the end. So let's put a Mark three chassis on the end here, with a chest on top of that as well. Now, what we're going to have here, um, let's get some polymorphic item sinks and provider modules like so uh, find that again each one of these is going to have a provider module in and a polymorphic item sink now the provider modules we're going to have set to um, leave one item per stack that way we can um, basically just pull whatever we want out of there and once we set what's going in there we won't need to set it again because it's always going to leave one item in there and the polymorphic item sink will sort to whatever's in the chest so that is why we do it like that so what we'll we'll end up with is that we can basically just put an item in the chest and then that is set as a root in the network and will be sorted to with the quick sort module which is extremely handy now we've just set up four chests here um, as or five chests as the main sorting chest. Now this last chest is slightly different. Uh, what we're going to want here is we will want a provider module. This is going to be the default route. Um, so we'll have this one set to normal because the default route we don't necessarily want to have stuff um, being left in there we we'll want access to everything that's in there because if something hasn't got a home it's going to end up in this chest anyway so it doesn't make much sense to um, leave stuff in the default route now the other modules we're going to want we're going to want an item sync module and the item sync module we're going to set as a default route. Now we need a default route on the network so that when we craft things they don't fall out. 
um, because they have a home and they'll come here to this chest. Now the last module I tend to put as a quick sort module which might sound a bit strange but basically what that's going to mean is that if I end up with a bunch of stuff in my default route all I need to do is pull one item out of there put it somewhere else and it will quick sort to that chest so uh, let's just let's just do this as an example um, I put a polymorphic item sink in there and if I put them in there the quick sort module should pull it out and throw it into there and that's basically what we'll do so we will have polymorphic item sinks in there but we need to empty this out a bit so we'll chuck one in there now there could be multiple stacks that will just help us going down the line to keep our, our default route clear and the rest of these will obviously just work as let's um, let's set this up with um, some ingots shall we so put iron gold silver tin and copper see I might want to set up another one let's set another one up and this one we will have set with I think I'm going to put rubber in this now if you're using large chests you may actually want to switch that to leave in the first stack if you're using one stack per item like we're doing here uh, we could just as well use item sync modules uh, that would work just as well this one here I'm actually going to use um, rubber I'm going to put rubber in there and the reason why will become clear as we go on right so that is a basic sorting system now so I can if I put out some ingots um, just to see I can put them in there and they're automatically going to get sorted by the quick sort module into the relevant chests there you go so that's that's basically that's basically what we've got there already very simple sorting system um, now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this and I'm just going to keep going this way because I've got lots of space you would obviously have it in different places if you wanted to branch off of this you would need to put some kind of logistics pipes there or you would come off straight off of um, one of the chassis and it's fine now what we'll do is what I would like to have is a system set up so that um, we can automatically uh, macerate and smelt some stuff now the way I tend to do this and you may or may not uh, agree with it or want to do it the same way I will have a actually let me put it on top I'll have a chest set up there and this is basically going to be uh, like a buffer chest so what I will do with that buffer chest is I will set an item sync module there and I will have a quick sort module as well and this item sync module we're going to have this as um, as our macerator so we're going to want to macerate gold iron uh, what else tin silver copper uh, yeah I don't have all of these in the world in fact I don't have those two well it wouldn't matter if you did have those ores you would just set them up we'll just set up a, a couple to start with uh, there's the copper that we're using uh, the others you can obviously add in as well let's um, actually make sure we've got 
some stacks of this stuff to uh, ready to macerate in our inventory. There we go. Now we set our our roots down with uh, just by putting the ores in there, like so. And we don't set this as a default route. We're basically saying um, I want these ores to come down here because we're going to process them. Now on this side. Um, let's put a mark two on this and we're basically going to make a completely separate little network off the side of this and on this side and it, it does turn out quite expensive so um, that that is something to consider but we're going to have a quick sort module and an item sync module now this item C module we are going to set as a default route and that may seem a little strange but that you will see why in a moment so if we come off of this we're going to end up with another mark 2 chassis and that mark 2 chassis is actually going to go on top of a macerator and I'm going to use a photo macerator just to just to speed things up a bit, let's drop a lever on it, um, turn it on, we get ourselves an MFE, this will run on, on medium voltage so that should be fine, shouldn't have any, uh, any nasty explosions and hopefully I can put a full lap pack in there to power it, there we go. Um, now what this is going to do is we will have an item sync module in here and this item sync module again is going to have each of the ores in now this is going to mean that the uh, the quick sort module that we have over here is going to quick sort out of this chest into this macerator and it's going to quicksaw into this top slot because we're going in the top. Now the other thing we're going to want is we will want an extractor mark 2 and we'll want this extractor to extract from the side. Now that's going to extract from the side and send everything to the default route because we've got a default route set here. So basically what's going to happen is when we put and I'll, I will show you, we'll put one of each in here and you can see exactly what happens um, it's basically going to come down here go into this chest then get sorted here and if it's not got space to go in it will bounce back it will just bounce back until there's room like so and then this here is going to give us our dust in this chest. Now, these this chest is being quick sorted underneath. Uh, the only problem is, is we don't actually have a home set for these dusts yet, and that's what we're going to do next. So, part of my auto maceration, we will have another area down here. Um, with another Mark II chassis on it and this is going to be exactly the same setup as that so we're going to have an item sync module and a quick sort module like so now we've got some dusts in here so let's take these dusts and we're going to set these dusts into the item sync module like so and we're not going to set the default route we're basically going to say right the dust from here send them to this chest over here because then we're going to deal with them over here and we will do exactly that and we're going to have exactly the same setup here so we're going to have a quick sort module which is that one there and an item sync module the item sync will set to the default route and we'll try and line this up badly 
what we'll do is we'll throw down a an induction furnace. So we'll throw that down with a lever. Turn that on. Put another MFE down with a lap pack. Now obviously you would have your other your other stuff going on. You would have your, your system set up. Now the other thing that we can do is we don't just use it for uh, for that. We set up another one as well. Exactly the same way. And this is the way I tend to do it. Now there are other ways of doing it. Um, you could use the passive supply module. Um, as I said, in fact we could do it that way. We could do it that way. We could just use a passive supply module in there. In fact, you could use a passive supply module on this one as well. But I, I just tend to use, um, I tend to use item sinks because the quick sort module will work with an item sink, whereas it won't with the passive supply module. Um, so actually we won't use the passive supplier, we will use the item sink. Throw the item sink in there and a quick sort as well. This item sink is actually going to take uh, resin. Resin, let's have a look. Let's grab a couple of stacks of that as well. So we're going to take our resin there and we will just come off the back exactly the same way as we've done earlier so it's a bit a bit of a repetitive process just to set up the initial uh, thing and we will have an extractor centrifuge extractor that will do that will do the job and an MFE as well which will throw a lap pack into just to give ourselves a bit of power easy EU there we go and let's put it on the bottom so now um, actually did I set the modules up for this one? I don't think I did, did I? did I? no so I need to set the modules for this one and what we'll do here is exactly the same as the other one. We will take an extractor mark two, extract that from the side, and we'll also take an item sink module. And this item sink, which one's this? This is doing dusts. Uh, we will have all the dust set up in this item sink as well. And that way, that's going to uh, pull the dust out of this chest so if we just test that quickly we throw the dust in there it's going to come through get smelted um, the ingots are going to get sent back down the default route and then from there they should I'm probably set the wrong copper up let's set the right copper up or what we can do Let's just throw this in the copper chest. Now, as you can see, that's then come out and it's got sorted into the correct chest. And then we've got two gold ingots extra there, two iron. So that's the quick sort modular work here because it's seeing that the ingots have a home on the network. We'll we'll set the right tin up as well. Obviously, different mods have different. Um, different things so that's that now the same is going to happen with the rubber as well um, we need to set an item sink up and an extractor mark 2 so our extractor mark 2 we will extract from the side item sink will have set up to accept the resin and what have we got here we need a quick sort on here and an item sink set as the default route. There we go. Now that should all be set 
to deal with resin now as well. So that's going to take our resin and it's going to auto extract it now. On top of uh, auto extracting resin, if we wanted to add on doing rubber wood, um, well, we've got a few rubber woods here. We've got that one and that one. What we can do, quite simple. Well, it's I say quite simple. We need to add it in there and there. And we also need to add it onto the machine as well. And that way it will deal with all of that uh, producing rubber for us. And that rubber is just going to end up being sent all the way down there. Now, that is the basic starting of your uh, of your sorting system, or my sorting system. That's what I tend to do. Now, what you can also do is a very similar system to this to deal with um, some of your your other crafting. So, let's get rid of that. And we will use a Mark II chassis. And I'm going to set up some an example item. This is how I tend to do it. You may have other methods, um, but actually, this this is how I do it. And I'm going to use a crafting pipe. And in this case, I'm actually going to craft off of a chest, which in fact, let me put the chest on top going to craft off of a chest and that may seem a little bit weird um, what I'm actually going to do then with that chest is I'm going to extract out of it um, with and again it's much the same way as I've done over here this may seem convoluted but um, it will actually allow you to uh, expand your system and have one machine deal with several different items. So we're going to have uh, a quick sort module and an item sync module. Now the item sync we're going to set to the default route because again we're going to have a, a separate little network going on here and we will have another Mark II chassis here and I'm going to set another furnace up. There we go, we have our furnace there. MFE. Um, I guess I should make another lap pack. Make another, spawn another lap pack just to get a bit of power in here. Um, and leave, of course. Now, in here, we're going to have an item sync module again and an extractor mark too. So in this item C module, what I'm going to add, in actual fact, is an iron ingot. Um, and we're going to add that into the crafting pipe as well, as an input. Now the output we're going to have as refined iron, like so. And yeah, that should be fine. So. All we need to do if we wanted to add something else on that we wanted to cook, like if we wanted to add um, the ability to cook cobble, we could do that simply by uh, adding cobble in there. Actually, what am I doing? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. You would add another crafting pipe. Um, this is where it starts to get a little bit messy. You would add another crafting pipe on there. That would need to be a basic logistics pipe because it's a, a junction. And you would add cobble in there and smooth stone on the output, like so. And then you would add cobble into your item sink. I just destroyed my cobble on there like that. Now that would then let you to craft two items off of one furnace. Now obviously you can position this chest in such a way that you can actually put five different crafting pipes on it and 
that's what I tend to do. It doesn't look pretty, so I, I tend to hide it away. Uh, it wouldn't be out in the open. But that way you can maximise the use of your machines to for your crafting recipes, particularly if you're going to be crafting things that you're not going to need an awful lot of. And I would use something like this for setting up uh, my compressors and things like that to make the advanced machine blocks. So the only thing that is, is left to add to this, if we go over here, is a request pipe. Now, we don't actually have um, a request set up yet. I tend to, I do tend to use um, the remote orderer, but for the purposes of this we will uh, we'll throw a request pipe down there and that way you can see that we have set up the ability to craft smooth stone and refined iron and they're both available in there now let's see if we can request a required refined iron now we do have iron in the system and as you can see saw the iron being sent off down there now that should with any luck come back with a refined iron. I'm going to have to check this. It may be that the furnace is still warming up a little bit. So that's come out of there, being cooked up. And for some reason that is just bugging out. Ah, the extractor module. We forgot to set for the side there we go so as you can see very important to remember to set your extractor modules right in fact let's uh, make sure we've set this one right as well so what was happening there was it was going in and the extractor module was then pulling it out before it finished cooking uh, obviously not what we want so quick little bit of bug fixing there and then we should have a refined iron down on the floor over here just to show that it works Okay, now, just by way of a, a bit of a demonstration, let's just throw all of this in here. Um, we'll throw that as well, and some resin, and just see how this system copes with that. Now, as we can see, we have got it. This macerator is busy dealing with the iron to start with. The rest of the ores are going to bounce down here as and when they they get picked up and they'll they'll come back until this space and then we've got our ingots being uh, smelted and sorted as well and the same with the resin now, as you can see every now and then because this uh, drops down and makes more space for rubber Quicksilver module send more rubber to fill it up. Um, the extractor we've got over here, uh, the Mark II extractor, isn't keeping up with the extractor, the centrifuge extractor, so uh, this will clog up at some point. Um, but you're not always going to be throwing two stacks of resin in, so you would just end up filling this buffer chest. So there we go. Now let's see how this is going. Is this still working on the iron? This is still extracting the iron dust. Um, so this gold ore is not being processed. This might be one of those cases when you want to use more extractors. But again, unless you're doing something extremely um, time dependent, like you're waiting on it straight away, which you would normally have your own separate machines up to use anyway. Uh, this is just going to deal with the output from a quarry, so it's not many situations when you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, ores arriving one time. But even if it does, it will cope without dropping anything, and that's the main reason why I use a system like this. Uh, it just makes life so much easier. Now if we have a look in our chests, we can see we've got our rubber turning up here we have our iron ingots the gold it's all showing up where it's supposed to um, 
These ones haven't been processed yet. And as you can see, we have nothing in our default route. And that's because I haven't put anything in there that hasn't got a home yet. So if I just put all of this in there, um, yeah, might as well throw that in there as well. The quicksort module won't sort this stuff out because it's not got a a place to live. Uh, the extractor module will though. And the extractor module is just going to pull it out and send it all into our default route. Just to show you that that's working as expected as well. So if we don't have anything already set, it's going to work there. So there we go guys. That is a very quick system including crafting, sorting, smelting, macerating uh, and all that other fun stuff. Feel free to uh, to copy this for your own worlds if you're struggling with some of the uh, the more intricate aspects of setting up your your logistics network. Hopefully this will help you. Uh, if you found it useful or if you've got any comments, uh, things that you prefer to do that I've done differently, let me know in the comments below. Um, and feel free to follow my Twitch and my Twitter as well. And that will tell you when I'm going live on Twitch or when I release new videos as well. So all good stuff and it's free. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.